Hi, let's build a nine circles level. <laughs> I saw this video on Finn's channel the other day and I was like, you know what? I kind of feel like making a nine circles level. I don't know why I just do. So yeah, today we're going to be building an entire nine circles level within this video. And although nine circles levels are pretty simple and easy to build, this video still took quite a while. So please consider gliding right into that subscribe button. I'd really, really appreciate it. Anyway, so I guess let's just hop into the editor here. And so, yeah, I have literally no plans going into this. I don't even know what song I'm going to use. Okay. You know what? I have a better idea. I might actually just go straight to Newgrounds to try and find a song. Oh my God. No shot. This is awesome. Okay. I'm going to be using this Nine Circles remix. It's too good, bro. It's too good. Okay. So I want to start off set of about 60. And then put a jump pad. And then I can start like actually putting like nine circles stuff here. And of course, by putting nine circles stuff here, I mean building the gameplay. So I started off with the cube section you see at the beginning of all nine circles levels. Pretty basic. I tried to sync it to the music a lot, but that kind of meant just consistent clicking. So I had to break it up a little bit. Okay, maybe so you naturally want to like go down there, right? But what if I make it so that... You have to buffer that and then go up and then maybe hit another orb up here. And then that is where the click pattern is going to go off. I'll just put like a quad spike here or something. And then maybe I'll make it go into a ball here. Why not? I don't have to stick to strictly the nine circles thing, right? I mean, nine circles levels usually have a ball anyway, so... Yeah, so I'm being pretty relaxed with the whole nine circles formula, just kind of going with the flow, whatever I feel like doing, right? At the end of the day, this is a nine circles level. And in terms of the deco, I'm going to be sticking fairly closely with the nine circles formula. But again, just kind of experimenting with a couple things, doing my own thing. This isn't made to be a serious good level. I'm just kind of making this for fun because I felt like making a nine circles level. So yeah. Yes, I love that. The duh, 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 duh. That's such a cool click pattern. Okay. But yeah, in terms of the gameplay, after doing this ball part, it was working on the gameplay for the ship part, which is basically just cookie cutter nine circles. I made it so you have to slide off a couple slopes here and there's even an orb halfway through, but for the most part, it's just basic nine circles ship gameplay. Then it'll kind of up to the top like that. Not the Ragnarok thing. And then here is where the cue part before the build up for the drop will come. I'm going to be straight up with you. At this point, I wasn't sure whether I was going to turn this into a video or not, so I didn't do much commentary. But looking back on it, I really want to turn this into a video, so yeah. This part, I kind of just went with the flow, just kind of making gameplay however I felt like it would make sense, right? Along with, of course, trying to sync it up to the music as much as possible. And then I kind of want to go into a robot part here. I think over here is going to be a hide player trigger thing. I rarely hide player trigger, but like, it's fine. And then we'll get into the wave part, but I'm not going to start building the wave part yet. I got to decorate this first part first. Okay, that took me about half an hour to make all this gameplay. Hopefully it's not going to take me very long to decorate. <laughs> so to start off, what color do we want to go with? This is like a big nine circles decision. I mean, the obvious pick is like red because this is literally a nine circles remix. But let's go something else here, shall we? Let's go orange. <laughs> okay, what if I go red, but like a dark desaturated kind of red? All right, so the first step, which I don't know why I don't just do this when I'm making my layouts, but I need to go ahead and make some good old regular white clear out outlines. White clear? Why did I say that? What? Some regular old outlines basically is what I'm trying to say. I can shift this over and do like a little funky thing like that. Oh yeah. I'll build another structure up here like so and that should feel quite tight, right? Yeah. There's a lot of fakes in nine circles levels so we want to make sure there's some fakes and I'm going to put some invisible spikes along here like that. Yeah. They'll never know. They'll never know. Okay, so I've got the outlines for everything up until this auto part because I want to do something different for that and obviously the ship part will be different so now we got to decorate this so what i'm thinking is since this is just like a nine circles level right we got to use these connector objects actually no i think it uses these ones either way we got to use the connector objects all right so let's go color one here and i want this to be a little bit desaturated and a little bit darker to kind of match the tone of the background yeah i think that's good and then the objects
object color, I'll just go with like a slightly gray type color. Yeah, okay. And then I can do like these things in here. Does the actual nine circles have a separation between that? Yeah, it does. What did I just do? What? Both what did I just do and what did I just say? Because <laughs> I don't know the answer to either. Yeah, okay. So something like that, I think is cool. Okay, and I want these to be on color two, which will be a completely different color here. Like that. So it feels very muted. And I'm going to do a couple things to make that a little bit more interesting. Primarily with pulses, but anyway. Okay, and now the 3D. Oh, yeah. And these, honestly, I feel like black 3D line objects would look quite cool. All right, and from here, most of the design stuff was fairly simple. I used these for the 3D on the objects, and I wanted to make sure that the perspective was right with the 3D. Other than that, it was basically just copying that design to all of the other structures. Fairly simple. Well, except for these slope bits. But for these, I just used these blocks here, and then took out a couple squares and put in these little bits in there, just because, I don't know, I thought it added a bit of variation, made it look a little bit better. I also couldn't work out how to do 3D on the slopes properly, so I just went ahead and did a couple little bits on the top. Okay, so now that we have the block design in place, I think the next step might be... I'll do some quick jump orb deco just with these basic little things like that. I think that could work. And then I can go ahead and add one of these to each of the portals. Okay, and then one last thing I want to do is add a little bit of deco to these saw blades. Basically just with these things here. Alright, so let's take a look at this in normal mode so far. Yeah, I think that looks kind of neat. The jump orb deco, you can't even see it behind the pulsing orb. So I might get rid of those. I don't really like these saw blade objects to be honest. I might just do like classic these things. I think they look a lot better. All right, and from here I decided I'd try and add some deco to try and connect the block structures together. Originally I tried doing that with these checkerboarded things, but it kind of looked a bit goofy. So I ended up just going with these basic transparent blocks and I actually added some slopes on the edges as well to try and like make it just feel a little bit funkier, you know? I don't know. I think it gives a cool vibe to it. I like it. And then the final little detail for this part was to add some pulses. And from there, the part was just about done. All right, cool. I think I'd call that part just about done. I might leave it at that. There's not really too much else I'd want to add. All right, so now I'm going to skip this transition part for now, and I'm going to work on the ship part. This first part, by the way, took me around about an hour to decorate, and how many objects? 904. Yep. <laughs> All right, on to the next part then. This should be a lot simpler, I think. And you know what? A lot simpler it was. It was basically just starting off with replacing all of the outlines as usual. All right, and let's do the inverted slopes test. Aha! That could have been really game breaking. You meant to slide along that. Oh my God. Then I just filled in these outlines with these blocks here, same as in the regular nine circles. And also taking inspiration from nine circles, I just copy pasted the same saw blade design because why not, I guess. <laughs> Okay, now I can copy paste this whole saw blade here and just kind of start placing some saws around the place and just kind of fill out this area as much as possible, right? Okay, so the next step, which I'm going to go to layer two to do this, is to add some ground spikes, of course. Feels a little bit more complete now, right? Yeah. I think the rest of this should be fairly simple. I'm just gonna do a slight background type deal. Maybe using some of these going up like so. Do three wide pillars, I think, and then have these blocks here to kind of fill in the gaps, right? What I might do is do some form of like a wave thing, like so. That kind of a pattern, right? How does that look? Yeah, I think that looks all right. It would look especially cool if it pulsed upwards. Oh, do I do that? Yeah, you know what, bugger it. Let's do that. I know that's like technically not possible in 1.9 or whatever, but like cry about it. That was really mean. I'm sorry, but... <laughs> and so the way I made it pulse up with like not having many objects is I made all of these inside bits move up by two blocks instantly, then do that again, and then move down by four blocks instantly just so it repeats and kind of loops around but it looks like it's constantly pulsing upwards and it's not super smooth so it gives it a little bit more of like a retro feel in a way i don't know after that i just added a couple more details and here is the end result of the part So now I might do a little bit of work on this transition here. Okay, so first of all, for this block here, I might do what I did up here and then just like copy paste that down here. You only hit your head there, so I can just probably get away with doing that, right? And then I could probably add a couple more around the place just to like give the vibe of a memory cue part because there's a lot of memory cue parts in a uh, thingo, right? So I could go ahead and like memory cue part it. I could put 3D lines on this. Yeah, bugger it. Let's put 3D lines on them.
And just as one final little thing between these, I'm gonna go ahead and use some of these. Nothing too uniform, just kind of going around the place. This is just a transition part, remember? Just to fill in a little bit of space, yeah. Okay, that looks a hell of a lot smoother. Nice. Okay, and now onto this last bing bing doll part. Okay, so I'm thinking this top bit will be mostly the same. That being using these types of connector blocks here. So we have this structure to start off with here. And then something simple to bring it to the ground. Maybe literally just like bricks. Maybe the inside can be brick and the outside can be something else. Maybe like these ones. And then the inside of this can just be bricks. I feel like that works. And then what I could do even is do the classic technique of shifting these in by one. Just so it like gives it a little bit more depth. Maybe even in by two. Alright, and now that I have the basic design for the structures I was going for, it was time to just copy paste these for all of the structures. Yeah. But the nature of these structures meant that you couldn't really do them for one and two wide platforms, so I decided to make a separate design for that which you can see here. Nothing fancy, just nice and simple, and that meant I could add a couple more single blocks with spikes on them around the place. Yeah, that definitely helped to vary things up a little bit with the structuring for sure. Oh, and I also had a couple layering problems. <laughs> uh, why? Oh my lord. And then and I copied the saw design again. <laughs> yeah, I know. It, it, it ties it all together. It's a constant. That's what it's meant to do. It ties all of the parts in the first bit together. I promise that's what they're meant for. Yeah, let's call it that. It's not a bug, it's a feature. <laughs> I then tried to experiment with some connector deco like this, but it really didn't look very good. So I ended up just using bricks on a lower opacity. Enter the world. Alright, and then it was time for pulses, which for the most part were pretty straightforward. Every time the music went, I basically just pulse the object black, pulse the background black, and then pulse the things on the inside of the blocks bright colors. So it kind of gave it a bit of a neon feel for each of the pulses, and that I felt like kind of led into the nine circles part pretty well. I was actually kind of proud of that. But yeah, from there, the pulses were really quite simple, and that is the whole part complete now. Yeah. And now for the transition just before the wave part, which... <laughs> it looks fine, it works. Okay, so now to build the wave gameplay. I'll try and make it like a little bit unique, but I don't know, we'll have to see. For the where it goes... I'm gonna make it go into like mini. And then for here, I'll make it go like two times. For the part, yeah. Yeah, let's just say the commentary for this wasn't really that riveting. <laughs> so basically for each of these sections, I started by outlining how long I wanted each section to be by marking it with a portal. So you saw just there, I marked a mini portal at one point and then a big portal with a speed change at another point. And then from there, it was just building gameplay in between that. I decided to go with a fake to start off with. This ended up being the only fake in the entire level, which I probably should have made more fakes or just not made that a fake. I don't know, either or. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's done now. But for the most part, for the rest of the gameplay, it was fairly simple. It was just trying to work within the guidelines of nine circles levels, which is basically only use slopes, saw blades, and try and use this like diamond pattern a lot as well. There was a bit of an exception to this with nine circles gameplay. However, I went against the rules a little bit with one specific thing. I know it's like not nine circles tradition and it's not like very 1.9. I wanted this level to be like kind of 1.9, but I want you to be able to slide on some of these because I feel like that could be an interesting gameplay mechanic, right? Yeah, so while I am really glad that I did this because I feel like it made for a lot more interesting and varied gameplay, it did kind of come back to haunt me later on. Ah, uh, why? Yeah, for some reason 60 Hertz really doesn't like this setup, so it was causing me a lot of pain and frustration about 10 hours into recording this video, which is uh, about 8 hours longer than I thought it would be. <laughs> so yeah, this video took quite a long time to make, not gonna lie. Anyway, something else I did interesting with the gameplay is this part here. And then for this part where it goes... I want to kind of make it go into a duel, like the Arcturus duel. Yeah. How the hell do I make that consistent? <laughs> okay, I think I've got it working relatively consistently. This is a setup, bit weird, but it works. Do like that type of a thing maybe, yeah. Like stuff like that happens sometimes, right? It's because I go into that really late. So maybe what I can do is have a slope like this with D blocks on it. And hopefully that would make it a little bit more consistent. That makes it work a little bit better. All right, cool. No, it didn't. 
Ooh, it didn't work. It only works in the editor. God, I hate things like that in this game. This took me so long to work out what was going on here. I ended up pause buffering, going like frame by frame through this just to try and figure out what was happening. Anyway, it turns out that I thought if it was just two different game modes in a duel, their gravities work separate. Nope, turns out if it's a cube and a wave, their gravities are linked. So I just changed the cube to a ball and that seemed to work. So yeah, basically just a quick summary if you don't know how this works. What happens is you go into the duel portal, then one of your waves changes into a ball, as I've discovered it needs to be. The ball's gravity then gets flipped, but the wave's gravity stays the same. And then the ball turns back into a wave, which keeps the same gravity as the ball. Therefore, now both waves have the same gravity. Anyway, I also just decided to break the nine circles formula a little bit by not having everything flash. I'm gonna have to work out what the hell I'm gonna do about some of like these structures because these are not like regular nine circles things and I don't want them to be invisible half the time. And that could be interesting having a couple like things that are constantly like static and like constantly visible type deal. Yeah, that could work. I'll have to introduce that earlier in the level so maybe I can chuck one like down here maybe. Yeah, maybe like that and then that can be static. And then this is a cool way to transition out instead of just going through a dual portal like normal. Both the waves can come together on that slope. And you can see they're basically both in one and then I can hit it with a regular dual portal and make that invisible. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't even notice that you become like regular. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay. All right. And from here, it was kind of just like normal gameplay. I kind of loosely tried to have each segment focus on a different area of skill. So like one's focused on portal gameplay, another's focused on jump orbs, like the dash orb in one of them and just different areas of skill for each section. But I didn't really do this a huge amount. It was just kind of a loose thing I wanted to try and incorporate. Right, right. And then I decided to end the first wave off there and have a short, sh short ship segment. <laughs> short ship segment as like a little break from the wave and have another wave after it. But before I work on that, let's take a look at the gameplay for the first wave. Perfect, yes! I think what I want to do is I'm going to go to an older nine circles level, specifically retro circles because- What? Oh, not circles. Although I'm actually curious now. Dude, this is a banger! <laughs> retro circles here. I remember the wave part looking really, really good in this for some reason. And that is because it uses these objects here. If I actually go to the different slopes that are here, in terms of the colored slopes, I don't have access to that. I have these ones, but I don't have access to these ones with the line on them. I have to do like these slopes here and then put the line on top. And that looks ugly as hell. So what I want to do is I want to take this and I want to add it as a custom object here so that I can just paste them and plop them into the level, right? And then I can go into my custom objects and place that in. And as you can see, now it has this. And so now I can edit the line color straight in this, which will be really, really nice. So I can set those both to nine and then I can alter just nine and make them like pulse however I want them, right? You can see the difference, right? This feels a lot more solid than this. All right, I'm going to speed through this decoration process a little bit because it is the most boring, uninteresting, and just straight up monotonous thing like on the planet ever. But yeah, so I started off by not doing the pulses, but setting the background to this blinding red color and then just placing in all of the slopes that I needed just so that it was a lot easier to see them, right? This, as expected, took an absolute age, but once I got the colored slopes in, I put in the black slopes, of course. And then once I had those in place, I made the saw blades. And then it was time to move on to the pulses, which were a little bit more exciting, but still kind of boring. I started by making a background pulse on every like main beat. And then it was actually time to pulse the flashy nine circles effect, which I use colors nine, 10 and 11 for this. And I made it kind of alternate between going out from the middle and in from the outside. And I changed the speed a little bit as well to try and match the energy of the level or what I felt the energy of the song was anyway. And honestly, I'm really glad I did that. Most of the pulses themselves don't match up to the music super well, but the way 
way that the objects pulse on and off, like the speed of them and the energy of them does match up with the music. And I think that's what's most important, right? And then from there, the nine circles effect itself was actually done. I know I sped through that in a matter of like a minute, but that took me like around about two hours. <laughs> and from there, it's just time to do the stuff that's actually not part of regular nine circles levels. And that is these objects that are more static here. Now starting off, they're a little bit too static. So I actually went ahead and started pulsing the object color on and off with like a slightly brighter red, just to make it feel a little bit more intense, right? I eventually realized that that would suck to copy paste over and over again, especially with speed changes. So I actually went ahead and made a spawn loop. I get a lot of comments about how I should make spawn loops. So ha, huh, there you go. Spawn loop has been created. Once I had that, the permanent objects were just about done because I decided to leave it as using default spikes and default slopes because I felt like it looked a little bit better. And from there, it was just a couple details, like adding some glow behind the slopes. And I also added some glow on the slopes that you can slide on just so that it's a little bit more clear what slopes you can slide on. And yeah, from there, the first wave was just about done. All right, and that is the first part of the wave of the drop complete. I decided to skip the transition ship for now. I'll come back to that later. So now it's time to work on the second wave and I'm just going to kind of let this play in the background while I chat a little bit because it's mostly just the same process as the first wave, not really super exciting, I guess. For this second wave, I wanted it to be a little bit harder than the first wave. It ended up being a lot harder, but I went back and nerfed it after, so don't worry. <laughs> I also tried to hone in on the like different skill sets for for each part thing a lot more. I feel like I did a better job in this second wave than I did in the first wave. And yeah, so that's basically everything I have to say about this part. There's not really too much to say. But what I do wanna say in terms of this video, this is definitely on the longer end of my normal videos. I haven't finished editing this yet, but I'm guessing it'll be around half an hour long, which is a lot longer than the usual 15 to 20 minutes I kind of aim for, right? And that's basically just because building this level took so much longer than I thought it would. I don't know why, I just thought building a nine circles level would take like maybe three or four hours max. You've heard me harp on about that throughout the video though, but I want to ask you, what do you think of these longer videos where I do a whole level in one video? Because I kind of enjoy doing them, but they do take a hell of a lot longer to make than if I were to split it up into multiple parts. I almost did that, almost did like the pre-drop in one part and then the wave in the second part, but I figured most of the wave is pretty repetitive, so it would get kind of boring for, you know, a part two, and I don't know, I kind of just wanted to put it all in one part, so I ended up doing that today. And then let me know what you think of it. If you're still watching until this point, thank you. But yeah, let me know what you think of the longer format and this kind of like a bit more edited as well because the pacing had to be a little bit quicker so that it wasn't like an hour long. But yeah, I'm really proud of this video so far. This is probably one of my favorites I've made even though the level isn't that amazing. I tried to differentiate it from most nine circles levels a little bit, but it is at the end of the day, just kind of a generic nine circles level that you'd see in like 2.0. That's kind of what I enjoy doing most in the editor, doing simple ideas and executing them well. Yeah, I don't know. Even though this level did take me significantly longer than I thought it would, I really enjoyed making it overall. I'm talking like the video's over. Nope, the video isn't over yet. We've still got a couple parts to build, but for now, this last wave part is complete. Boom. So now this ship part, what do I want to do for this? So start off with this little block design here. And I'm just going to do basic box structures for this, I think. Nothing too special. I'll do some more of these just to kind of bring back the theme of what we had before, right? Okay, and then on the insides of these, I think I'm probably just going to do like, maybe I could do these ones maybe. And then the insides, I'll just do like these or something. I don't know, man. Yeah, that works. Okay. Mm, it needs like something else. I'm just going to play it simple and just add a few brick blocks in. Maybe I'll make them a lower opacity or something. Yeah, sure. A couple more details, like some ground spikes, just stuff to make it feel a little bit more complete. All 
All right, cool. Boom. Shack a lack. All right, I'd call that part done. And now I'm just going to add a little bit at that final click in the wave. Okay, and then if I go to layer one here, I'm just going to make some nine circle structures, but use these things instead. So these are going to be entirely fakes, although it might trip the player out, but that's kind of what we want, right? <laughs> I want this to kind of just go insane mode. So there's just like structures everywhere. Chuck like one of them half spaced in there or something. Bit of tweaking, moving stuff around. You know how it is. I could even go ahead and because it's like impossible to touch it I could add a saw blade in there as well like the player is going to be holding along there so they can't touch this saw blade so I can chuck a couple in here as well And then I'm kind of tempted to continue that because I really like the theme of just having these blocks here. So it'll be like not very difficult, but just a kind of ending bit, right? Which isn't normally seen in nine circles, but I mean, normally there is like an ending, but you know what I mean? You don't normally see it in the form of, oh, I'm going to do it here, right? And then right at the end, you have to go through that space. Oh, is that too it? No, it's not too evil. It's a hard demon. I'm still using the same spawn loop as all the way back here, by the way. Okay, and then I want to stop three and four. And then I want to fade out with like 0.3 every time now. Like that. Yeah, that's perfect. So you're going through and then it's like just making it out. Oh yeah. Okay. Now I need to turn preview mode off to make the gameplay. And then right below all of this, I'm just going to have like invisible blocks just so that you can't skip anything. Now, final thing I want to do, just kind of surround this gameplay in invisible saw blades, just to make sure that you can't just like fly out into the top of the world or anything, right? Sure. Okay. That'll work. <laughs> if it works, it works. What can I say? Like that, yeah, and that's right at the end. So there's a little bit of tension right at the end. Okay, okay. All right, you know what? I think I'm going to just go ahead and call this level complete. Ah, oh, screw it. Let's try and verify this. If it takes me too long, I won't bother in this video, but I'll give it a go. Too easy. Way, way, way too easy. Okay, cool. I definitely say, despite how I literally just did that in like five attempts from zero, obviously I got a lot of practice with this wave while play testing it, right? And of course, it's always the classic thing of like, I'm better at wave than a lot of people who would be going for this, like say, as a new hardest. So therefore this level feels so much easier because it's less about learning and more about skill. But still, the learning was already done because, you know, I made the level and when I was play testing it and stuff. Anyway, that is a level done. What the hell do I call it now? What if I call it like, like hell gates or something. I mean, it's cheesy as hell, but it's kind of funny. Hell gates. And it's like a nine circles level. <laughs> There's no rated levels called hell gates. Okay. This isn't going to be rated anyway, but like, it's fine. Oh my God. There's a, <laughs> this is amazing, dude. Yes. Yep. This is what I want my level to be associated with levels like that. And like this. <laughs> Welcome to the gates of hell. There are nine circles of hell. Well, I guess I 
just better go ahead and upload this then, right? This for reference, by the way, is not going to be rated or featured. This is just something I made for fun and because I kind of felt like it and I thought it would be kind of fun for a video. So yeah, I'm going to upload that and boom, hell gates. Here is the ID if you would like to try it for yourself. Okay, well, you know what? I'm actually really proud of this level. I think it turned out pretty well, despite the fact it's just a generic nine circles level. I think I managed to pack a little bit of creativity in there at least. I don't know. I think there are a couple unique bits, especially with like the constant static bits in the wave that weren't so static because they were like pulsing constantly. Plus the end bit, I think was like, it had a surprisingly creepy atmosphere. It's just blocks with a black background. I don't know, man. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to end this one off here. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. And um, yeah, I will see you later. Yeah,